Kom daarin. It's me, Kulder. Um, on the ice on the Sunday. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about... Uh, a little bit about yarn and my knitting. I haven't been doing any crochet. Oh wait, not a lie. I'm literally looking at things that I've been crocheting. So there's that. I'm gonna talk about my work in progress and my uh, castons and the one finished object that I do have. But first off, we have such wonderful sunny weather. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. So yesterday on a Saturday we had quite a bit of snow. We actually had a bit of a snowstorm late last night and yesterday, all yesterday we just had snow the entire day. It was it's good to be home on those kind of days. It's just like you can look at windows it's like what a lovely weather. Hot cocoa by the way, hot cocoa. And this morning when I woke up it's picture perfect. Picture perfect winter wonderland. I no, I live in a fjord, so I'm literally looking out at the sea and the mountains and just. And when I'm pulling the curtains this morning, I just see my lovely, lovely fjord. Just the sea is absolutely calm and wonderful. The entire town is covered in just white, pure white, picture perfect snow. The sky is. A gorgeous shade of blue and the sun is all out and being loving. Of course there's um there's some clouds now but that's okay because this morning was picture perfect. And it's not too cold either, so mm, mm. so enough about the weather, let's talk about <laughs> let's um how we'll chat about the um yarn that I'm actually gonna talk about. Talk, talk, talk about. So um, I managed to go to knit night, so um, well, obviously there's um, the world um, epidemic is going on, and starting from tomorrow Monday, um, we here in Iceland won't be allowed to gather um, gatherings over 100 people uh, are going to be forbidden for safety reasons, and any gatherings under that, uh, people have to stay two meters or six feet apart so that's gonna make shopping really really interesting so I don't know what was gonna happen with knit night so last week was the first time in like a month that I managed to go because for health reasons and en energy reasons and just and now I don't know if there's gonna be any more knit nights well at least in the next month because of the the, the thing <laughs> Uh, but at least uh, no one around me is sick so far. My area has been very, very fortunate. There's been no, um, no one has been uh, diagnosed with the virus, which is good. There have been some people going into quarantines to, you know, keep everyone else safe and just be on the safe side. So everything so far is good. Anyway, yarn. <laughs> so last. Uh, last night, night I did manage to finish this, these three. Uh, I'm just happy if I managed to finish like three granny squares. So this is my to go bag. This is my project bag. I got it off of the internet, um, and I've got everything in it. With I got so much many things in it that I even got money that I didn't know that I had. So. Nice. So, in this bag, I always, always have well, money, and now I also have some <laughs> to go. The um, sprit, sprit. See, always have my scissors. I have my ah, here we go, Ice Jones Magic Baby, in the pink, white and neon shades. Love it. And I always have this crochet hook. Um, there isn't any maker's name on it because I got it from a magazine. It's a 4mm one and I absolutely adore working with it. These two together, just perfect. So, yeah, I managed to finish three granny squares with 
I have not counted them, but I got this many. I think it's around 60 maybe. And I still have a whole scheme to go, so yay! Now, my cast on. Um, when was it? Last weekend I didn't do a project pile because I didn't feel like I had anything to show. I'd rather, I want to have something to talk about. Didn't have really anything to talk about last night, uh, last weekend, so now I do. Um, so instead, I posted my so for my first wish haul, and I got did get some yarn from it. So I got a smile rainbow line in these absolutely gorgeous colors. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, I think these are, yeah, these are wool. And this yarn is so soft, it's so nice to work with. It's also really, really, really fine. So I'm, I cast on, on a three and a half millimeter uh, knitting needles, which in the US sizes is four. So US four. Um, not really used to working with anything finer than a four millimeter, which is, I love this. Um, which is a US size 6. So US size 6 and US size 8, you know, 4mm and 5mm are my usual go to, but this yarn is so soft, uh, so fine that needs need something finer than my usual. And I simply cast on my, my, apparently it's just my go to, you know, it's a simple shawl that I found on Ravelry. I'll try and remember to link it down below. And first off, it it holds the pattern so very very nicely look at it it doesn't curl at all and the color change is absolutely wonderful also it's really really nice to work with it has a bit of a halo and it doesn't doesn't really split when you're working with it so yeah if you can't get it which i'm pretty certain you can get from more web pages than just this i would i need to recommend it as for another work in progress, I'm still trying to work on my uh, lumpkin blanket. I only managed to do one round, so it's just so very hard to work with because it's so big and so heavy that you have to have it in your arms. And I'm not very good at working with things in my arms. I just kind of look kind of silly and I feel silly, but it's a long term project. As for my one finished project, which I'm so happy with, I finally managed to finish my lace shawl. I'm trying to remember the name. It's the line brand. It's a line brand pattern. I'll link it down below. Um, no, I didn't have their yarn, which I can't remember what it's called right now. But I'm I'm sure it's fi fun to work with. I used yarn that I got off of Ice Yarn last year um, that I got from their summer sale page and I I was new to the page and I got it because it was cheap and I wanted to try something new which is a fantastic thing about pages like Ice Yarns when you can get something very cheap that's different at least people like me we are likely to go you know go for it because it the thinking is of course well, it's cheap and it's different, so it's not something I'm, I'm actually gonna go pick up around anywhere around me. So, A is cheap, B is different, C, I'm not gonna lose anything. So, I picked it up, then I had it in my um, storage. <laughs> I actually kept it in storage for quite a few months because I, I had no idea what to do with it. Then I found this pattern online, and I'm like, I have yarn like that, similar, someone. So, yeah, rumbling. Look, look. So I did the cast off on Friday night and wove in the ends on Saturday morning. Now I still have to wash it and block it. But I am so happy with it because it is oh, so different. I like it. Yes, that's the thing I've think things that I've been working on and I've cast on that I've 
finished. And yeah. Um, it's going to be inter interesting to see how the next weeks are going to go. Because we live in interesting times. That's... Um, I'll try my best to just stay positive. To... Um, I'm missing a seal and a shark. Excuse me. Yeah. So, me and a little seal cup and a little sharky boy. We are um, going to say goodbye for now. And um, yeah, I'll try to be more productive because it's fun. It's fun finishing things. And I hope you guys are all safe and sound that you're healthy and that you're um, gonna stay that way <laughs> uh well what can you say in a situation like this just i hope you all are doing well all right okay see you later and um, thank you oh wait well, yeah. thank you for watching i'll see you later and we'll all be fine <laughs> we will be fine okay bless bless <laughs>